Welcome to episode 50 of our Hobo to Hero Football Manager playthrough thing. So, last time out we played the Loser's Cup, as I like to call it, and we were thrown out of that one too. So now we have one friendly coming up facing Cushing, and another match facing Cushing, but this time it's important. So, yeah, we need to make sure we win those. <laughs> at, at least the second one. To be perfectly honest, I don't care much about the first one, but the second one we need to win. That would uh, give us some uh, room to breathe. Yeah. So how do we do that? I don't know, but I feel like we might just need to actually look at the friendly and play it. Like, be on the pitch, not give it to the assistant manager. That may help. And also, we need to find out how we play against them immediately. So, I took a little bit of time and had a look into this. And it's, well, I don't know much about these two. But it seems like reasonable dribblers, somewhat pacey, but not too fast. At the age of 33 and 31, hmm, that might be a 9 or a 10 on the pace side. So it might be a good idea to keep him away from the gold, actually. Because, well, at least his finishing is definitely not one that I want to see close to the goal. And um, in midfield, I think one of the, these players had good passing. Not him. Him. So he has good passing and vision. Hopes are we can mark him out of the game, but the off-the-ball movement says no. Still, I think I do not want to let them play with the ball. No, close to our penalty area. So as a result, maybe go with the positive high block and hope for the best, and then we can still shut up shop later. Um, at least that's what I'm hoping for. And uh, if this works at home, it might as well work at their place. I'm not a hundred percent sure. So this is the primary train tactic anyway. We'll stick to that. That said, um, the what probably needs to be picked up from the morale side. So hopes are that we win this thing here and maybe can talk to the players a little bit and uh, figure out how to um, increase their overall mood. Like this. Exactly like this. So I guess we need to play to each and every... Uh, to, to talk to each and every one of them again. That's just a thing, right? All right, let's do this. So, what's there to be figured out here? Well, he had a few headers, as expected, given that we peppered him with crosses last time out. It does seem, though, like he didn't have good finishes. Right, that counts. Um, Training-wise, not much to say. I think we can only... We'll only talk about uh, performance in the last match. That's the only thing we can do right now. Here we have good tackling ratio. So we'll praise that. That worked. Right here, good passing, I think. I wouldn't say at his creative best, but he's been okay. RC was injured. Jeffrey, 6.4. Two out of two tackles, though. So we'll go with that. I do not necessarily like the uh, offensive performance overall, but it is what it is. Carrier didn't play. Mazarin did. Came on. 8 out of 8 passes is fine. I think on the wingback position on the left, I made a mistake. Um, oh, place, place tackling. Well, that was fine too. Um, I made a mistake last time. Um, the left back is usually employed in an um, attacking mentality, and I didn't do that. 100 passes by McManamy. Holy shit. That's quite a lot. So I think we can praise the overall passing.
6.1 by Mochalil. Well, he conceded free again. At least we can improve his morale by criticizing him. 44 out of 49. Didn't create any meaningful chances, though. First of all, we'll praise the passing. And I think we can probably criticize him for not creating any chances. Yep. Rusty. Good passing. The tackling's much better now. That's all right. And what else do we have here? Well, can't really talk about the creation of chances here, I think. 6.9 rating on Zakaria, two chances created, two out of two tackles, too. Uh, seems like we had a talk with him recently. I will not complain about this, that's fine. This, I guess that's more or less okay. Oh, 6.2 rating is lackluster, so I will criticize the lack of chances created here. He's not happy either, all right? We can praise that one tackle. He agrees, all right. Nizam. There's barely anything to say. Ankun. So Ankun make it, made it back onto the pitch, which is good. But that's where the positives end, I think. He had good passing, no chances created whatsoever. There is also one thing that comes to mind immediately. Um, Ankun's susceptibility to injury is declared high these days. It says here he has a history of various injuries. And looking at this, that's certainly true. If we look at this in detail, that's highly concerning. I agree. It's minor, moderate, minor, moderate, minor, major, slight, and moderate. So no major um, injuries other than the, the sprained knee ligaments. That said, this is way too much. And uh, I want to compare this to McManamy for a second. McManamy is considered to be uh, highly susceptible to injury. But, well, we just saw Ankuns. Obviously, his overall skill is lower. But the medical report says he had one moderate injury, a pulled hamstring. And then, this is nothing, really. So... I am not sure what to make of that. His medical report obviously doesn't state uh, well um, that he has a, a history of the injuries, but it feels like Ankun is in, uh, in decline uh, from that perspective. So either we need to set him to a lower uh, amount of training overall, or, well, to be honest, I think we need to sell him, maybe. That's a, uh, well, similar argument can be made for McManamy, obviously, simply due to the um, risk of uh, injuring the player. Um, if I could, obviously, I would go with a lot of players that have low susceptibility to injury overall. Okay, so we talked to most of them, at least those that played. If I'm not mistaken. Did we? I might have ended with uh, with Ankun actually, and uh, I did not go into detail with these. True. So I'm not done yet. Backlink's okay. No chances created though. That works. Baru scored. Not that it matters much, but he scored. So we'll praise him for that. That works. The second goalkeeper didn't play. Nard 
the last though Christopher did. And overall I think we can be okay with that. There's not much to say here though. And then we're going back to Elbeck chat still. So now I'm through the squad. Alright. So we'll do this. Well, that's certainly new. So, Safri has been approached by our sibling club. To be honest, he, ba he barely played. And very similar situation. He's highly susceptible to injury. If we need him for the last four matches, then that will be a bummer. But in general, I think it's unlikely that we will need him. So if he wants to leave, he can leave. He did improve slightly in his concentration throughout his career with the club, but there's not much to say. And I think at this point we can probably let him leave and find a replacement, even if we need a, a, a youngster somewhere. But we'll find somebody. So I think I'll ignore this. Hi Mies, welcome back to the stream. Here's a scouting report for Cushing. So they will be tough to beat it says, and they play wing style. Um, I think I saw in their manager's profile though. The manager likes direct counter-attacking football. So direct counter-attacking through the wing, uh, down the wing in a 4-4-2. That's how it works. How's it going for you, Mies? How was your week? Hey, you guys! <laughs> <It's> perfect! <laughs> Welcome back to the stream, Chernolid. Oh. That's, that's what it's there for, I guess. Never see, saw that one though. Is this a new one? They constantly add new stickers to this uh, to the library. Well, same question for you, obviously. How was your week? <laughs> Hope you had a good one. So what do we do? Well, did you get enough sleep? I took a nap prior to doing the stream now, so uh, <laughs> I don't know, I slept for like 30 minutes. Lots of rain. Okay. We, we had some sunshine here. Yeah, and I think a ton of, a ton of farmers with their, whatever it's called, a tractor, I guess, with their tractors on the bridges again. Blocking them and protesting. This is the kind of culture we have over here. I just hope they never need to pull away some Russian tanks. Anyway. So, I don't think I will try to keep Safri. That's more or less a no-brainer. At the age of 25, there is no potential in him. I think you can agree on that. Do you have another opinion for the remaining four matches of the season, wherever it goes? Nah. Let him go, let him go. To be honest, I don't know the next line in 
the original. So, yeah. Probably. Well, there's there's no youth player in here, but we'll get one at some point. Yeah, um, in here. Uh, best position central defender. We'll find somebody like Chohari here. There's. Yes, they are. I agree. I think I got that. Okay. Um, so, going back to the scouting report, we know that this club has some major weaknesses. I... No. I will not sign your grandpa. Thanks for the offer, though. Probably. So the squad tends to lack good jumping. Let's have a look at their central defenders. This one's really interesting, actually, despite the age, but at that amount of money, I can't afford it anyway. And uh, Fukai has nine points of jumping, too. The rest of the squad is utterly useless considering the jumping, it seems. Yeah. It's the same all over the place. So, um, as a result, well, he's okay. From Tajikistan? Is this honestly what's going on here? Yeah. Great. So, um... Also, he played in Belarus, apparently, at some point. So we know that they don't like to jump. They do not have good crosses, apparently. They are no good at marking and positioning. It seems like a positive attitude might work here. Positive mentality overall. So we'll do that. Not that many news. And we can... Um, the strikers are somewhat pacey, I think. Sadly. Going back to it again. Yeah. So they are somewhat pacey, but not very tall. Good off the ball movement, sadly. Yeah, this seems like a reasonable finisher and dribbler. So that's somewhat dangerous. Not brave, but well, it doesn't help much, does it? And Pedro Henrique is slow. Seems like he's slow, but he's a good finisher, good dribbler, good first touch, good off the ball movement. That's a poacher, if I've ever seen any. So I would argue keeping him away from the gold is a good idea. With the other one, I'm not so sure. He's fast enough to, to run away from our central defenders most of the time. On the other hand, he still might need to um he still might need to run with the ball. And running with the ball um usually is um uh, you know a bit cumbersome in comparison to somebody run running alongside it. So we might stand a chance of uh Keeping him away from the goal. But we will need the faster one of the central defenders. So that's Fakrola. He's got pace 11. He'll cope with at least one of them. We just need to make sure there's no mismatch there. But I think we can do that. And uh, also, next match is the friendly, right? This is not a league match. So we have a whole match to practice it. Um, They might play some random people there then we don't know much, but uh, I will certainly take it seriously. Even if it's just a friendly, and well, it might have an impact on morale, so yeah, why not? Um, I'm not really interested in the under-19s right now. Okay. Um. Yeah, so we'll just skip forward a little bit. Don't care about that either. And for next season, we need to come up with a plan for um, a few of the players too. So um, strategically speaking, uh, we I guess we need to uh, plan for two scenarios. Either we go down or we uh, remain uh, up here. Shit. 
so much for playing him. Mazarin also has a tight fire again. No recurring injuries, but... Well, it's not that much, is it? So he'll be back. Uh, not very much. But uh, for uh, whatever league we stay in, um, we cannot really spend on additional players much. Um, this is interesting. Let's scout this. Oh, that's the Challenge Cup. Well, let's scout this anyway. 2-0. Penang lost. What a pity. So, given that we do not have much money, um, we will need to do a revamp of the squad staff anyway. Um, we might lose some of the spots. <laughs> me too, me, me too. Um, uh, and they actually signed him. Oh, it goes through at the end of the year. Never mind. Sure, transfer window's closed. So I'm perfectly happy with this. He can leave. Um, that's all right. Um, I should probably set up the staff responsibilities for the friendlies, though. I want to take control of the next friendly myself. Yeah, now he's gone. What a pity. Also on a non-contract again. True. So we need a new one for the memes. I will leave that as it is. If the assistant manager says so, or whoever said it, we'll go with that. And uh, I will not use the suggested squad. I think I will set this up myself. So, given the lack of uh, jumping reach on some of their players, Maybe we can, also on the wings, maybe we can focus on those that have a little bit of jumping at least. I will not send anyone on a specific language course right now. He didn't even learn a single word in melee to this day. He has basic skills in melee at this point. No idea what's going on there. Well, no. Let's not talk about the youngsters just yet. But um, maybe, just maybe, we will need to actually stick to the youth next season. Um, they cost like 10 or 15k per player, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe even more. It's a ton of money. We can basically afford another player for that amount of money. So, I don't want to. They they are no brainer for um for our goalkeeper broke his hand. Great. Harris is back in training. Now we can talk about the training with them. This is important. Morale needs to be perfect for these matches, so we will need to endure talking to them. And to be fair, the performances and training overall are good. Hmm. Nah, we'll keep it like this. Jeffrey focuses on quickness. Mazarin's not fully fit. Well, unsurprisingly, given that he... I don't know, he did something to a muscle or something. A tight fly, I think it was. This all is fine. Hmm. I think I remember Hammer having one point of passing or one point of vision. So that increased quite a bit, if I'm not mistaken.
Never mind. It was two. So I'm mistaken. That happens. What do you think about the goalkeepers? Whom shall we play? In the friendly. I'm not talking about the other match. In the friendly. Shall we give the, gap, the backup some playing time? He definitely has the better personality. Well, the guy that is the least shit. That, that's why I ask you, you know? I have a hard time figuring it out. Uh, oh, I am the manager. This is, this is not like a democracy. Never mind. So I need to make a decision. All right, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I must have gotten that confused. So we'll do that. Okay. Take these all with us. Also in the under-21 squad. We'll bring in Da Costa, Lima and Ahmad. Because, well, we can. It's a friendly after all. He can so jump somewhat. He can't. How's Baru? He's a four. He's a three. I think we'll, we'll leave him like this, won't we? Nah, let's play Baru for Hammer. Um, Badrul Hisham, no problem there. Which of the one is the faster one? The strikers. The one... Well, it's actually hard to say. These are both fast. Okay. Well, I guess Jeffrey Mill need to do. He's the faster one of our central defenders in comparison to Carrier. So we'll go with that. I think Safri is faster, actually. He's an eight. So we'll place a free for Jeffrey. I will regret this, but we'll do it. And given that Mazarin just hurt himself, well, let's play Rusty instead. But I think in this kind of setup, we will go with. Well, we'll do Wingback on attack for him anyway. And his direct opponent is who. He's on the left, so that's him. That's somewhat fast and dangerous from a crossing perspective, but not a perfect defender. And he's similar. Well-rounded, I would argue. We'll still try. This is a friendly after all. This is for trying things. This all can remain. This is fine too. And I will play the other goalkeeper. Maybe it helps to motivate Mochalil after all. No problems with match load. Well, summary is on a medium. So we could go Christopher. But he's sharp. No reason to do that. Let's just go with this. No specific opposition instructions. I'm too lazy to add them right now. And um, if mistakes are made, maybe we can uh, learn something from it. I think that's important here.
Okay. Let's encourage all of these guys. And um, then I will do a 30 second break. I need to do something. Here be. Alright, let's go to the match. Seems like there's supporters in the stadium, actually. I'm always confused by that. Just come to think of it, we should at least instruct them to take whoever that is. Was it Norden? To take him out, yes. So oh, this is a case of a hard tackle if I've ever seen any. He's great. Oh, and it seems like we play McManamy here. I forgot to bring on uh, Ankun, apparently. Not sure if he's... Uh, no, he's, he's still a, a very susceptible to injury, though, isn't he? So I'd rather not. Nazarudin, Zakaria. So, so far it seems like retaining possession is fine. Ross D and Elbock Chuck still wins the header in the middle. That's not bad. You can do better, guys. That should be offside. Also, Safri recovers the ball, so it doesn't matter much. Ross D, Nazarudin, Samri. Samri, does he cut inside? A little bit back, Rosti, Zakaria. None oh. will lose the ball. So that's something that comes up, comes up immediately, I think. Also, this is a really bad defensive positioning by Safri. I don't know what he's doing here. Wow. <sighs> I should not play Safri, maybe. Elbow Chuck Stale with the free kick. Good one. Nazarudin. Oh, that was a good chance. Definitely better than the first one. Combination on the left seems to work for now. This is a match of low, uh, great chances at best so far. Any observations from your side about the match, other than it's um. 16 minutes into the match, there's barely any chances. What would we do? Uh, what we do about that, though? Samri, not bad. Zakaria, Aru. There's the goal. Okay, now we only need to do this on the. Actual league match. Apparently it was a counter-attack, I'm not sure if I agree. There are a few people, oh, like the defense is more or less in order, isn't it?
Well done. So far, I specifically like the fact that they recover the ball more often than not. Oh. Oru hurt himself again. Oh, come on. Why? So I guess we play Hammer for the rest of the match. McMenemy, Badrul Hisham. Of course, it just takes the shot. As a fullback, when did you get your, uh, do you get the opportunity to score? So, might as well take your shot, yes. Elbow check still. Zakaria is not a good jumper yet. And that's dangerous. He is good recovering the ball, though. Also, nice technique here. McMenemy. Elbow check still. Does the emphasis on their bad positioning and marking help here? Is this what's happening? Do they have problems with that, or is it just me overinterpreting whatever observation I make? I was close. Well, that tackle was fine, and now he's entirely out of position. But the cross got blocked. Which reminds me... It says we should trap them outside and stop crosses here. Is this what we're going for? Hmm. Seems like our crossing, uh, crossing, our pressing in this situation didn't help much. So, this is one of these weird situations where I think less pressing would have been a good idea. Bad or, you know, being successful with it, obviously. And that's what keeper. No mistakes so far. Not a free kick for Ebert Chuckstell. That would have hit the target if not for the goalkeeper. We still have 59% possession. So no complaints there. This might be dangerous. But apparently we know how to jump even at the far post. Yeah, well. That was bad off the ball movement. One of the two could have moved away. Summary. Finds Hammer. Hammer and that's a corner. Not bad. So if we play like this, away from home at the next match, when it matters, I would probably not object to it. So free hits the goalpost. Oh, it's close. There's a lot of whistling here. In the stadium. Maybe that's just me. 
Did they change the sounds? Well. No, he doesn't take the shot. Hammer does. Not bad. Get another corner. We will probably need to rotate for the second half. Frosty with the corner. That didn't work. So, what do you make of that performance? It says it's fantastic according to XG. Alright. It's close, isn't it? So we'll let him play for an additional 10 minutes or something and then I will um, stop off players. Frosty... No. Interesting. Does he get there? No, he doesn't. Well, shit. That could have been something. Alright, 56 minutes. Let's watch this scene first. This overall situation with Rosti on the left wing seems to work quite a lot. And that should have been the second goal of the match. It was a really great chance. That's it. Alright. So, we'll rotate a bit. He, he's entirely sharp. He can sit on the bench. We don't need to rotate him in. But the rest of them... Safri is probably the one that needs it more. So we'll leave him on. Mazarin needs to play. No doubt about that. Rusty for Zakaria should be a no-brainer. Ankun for McManamy. Christopher for Zamri. Attacking midfield. Well, um, there's not that many players there. So I guess Mr. Amat does play. And do we have somebody in central defense? Sure, Jeffrey. He doesn't really need it though, does he? It's the same with Christopher. But I still want to play him. Not to, not to hurt the others. Amran, Harsi... Arcee just, re just returned from injury, that's probably... Might be a bad idea. And the youngster doesn't really need it, I think. Well, that was the wrong decision by Mutnaza Rudin. He could have controlled the ball, that would have been much better. I also like the amount of faults given so far. Five faults, that's not that much. Given that we instructed him to tackle one player hard. Christopher should be reasonably fast here. 
Yes. And this is a yellow, isn't it? They say it's time wasting. Hmm. Good pass by Azamudin. Mazarin. Back to Christopher and Mazarin again. Ahmad. Mazarin. Christopher. Nice combination. Ahmad. Ooh. Interesting choice. Take a shot from there. Well intercepted by Hammer and then he does nothing with it. Or does he? Apparently not, he loses the ball. So now we seem to face more pressure. Sure. Alright, they have had a shot. We did have some chances since we uh, subbed uh, the, the rest of the squad on though. So I think in aggregate it's still alright. But there's some... Um, I would argue there's a certain decline. Ever since we subbed uh, the... I guess the BT on. Maybe not in every position, but there's bad. Des uh, you just saw a bad decision there. All right, offside. And we'll bring on Jeffrey for Safri now. Hopefully we can have a performance like this in a real match in a week. Hammer doesn't get past his men. Well, the corner's fine too. As I'm in with the corner, Jeffrey doesn't hit the ball with his head. He hit the opponent apparently. Hammer. Not bad. As a mood in again, carrier Jeffrey as a mood in. I thought that was a bad idea, but the passing overall was fine. I ho I'm hoping for it. It's only one goal for some weird miracle, but well, for for some miraculous reason, I would say. But I, I think if we can if we can copy that into the league game, we sh should stand an excellent chance. <laughs> Jeffrey with a bicycle kick. Okay. Why not? Which kid? Are we talking about Carlos da Costa Lima for Hammer?
Well, I mean, why not? But it barely matters. So, if you want to see the kid, you can see the kid. In the league match, he will. Well, he might be on the bench anyway. Not a bad cross. This didn't go well though. And obviously in the league match I would probably not bring Azamudin on immediately. I'd rather play a luck just sell for the whole 90 minutes if it uh, as long as it works. There's Da Costa Lima. Ankun, Nizam. Good passing, Rusdi. And Rusty takes a shot from distance. There's a lot of low-grade chances. But we can, or at least it seems that way, um, we can pass the ball around nicely, around their penalty area. It seemed like they had much more of a chance closing down our players in the first half. Back when I guess they had some stamina left in them. Good pass, Ankun. That was offside, wasn't it? Yep. But sure, hopefully that translates to a similar performance in the next match. And I would probably do opposition instructions to a similar degree too, so basically none. It seems like I overdo that anyway. I think yeah, I think like that mm, every single time. Probably. That's offside. Yep. Great. That should settle the affair. Also, no yellow cards on our, on our side so far. Nah. I jinxed it. And the goalkeeper didn't have any major mistakes either. That should be it. Rusty. Rusty again, Mazarin. Well, I thought the game was over, but apparently I was wrong. Now it's over. Alright, 16 to 3 shots. Uh, yeah, me too. So 3 is just a little bit faster. And Hammer is furious for being taken off after being brought on earlier. Well, his performance certainly didn't help. So, we shocked our rivals, now we will do the same in the league match. At least that's what we're going for. And Baru sprained his knee ligaments. Fuck. So yeah, Da Costa Lima will probably need to be on the bench. This is the second time for him, isn't it? Yep, it's the second time he sprained his knee ligaments. He did the same... Yeah, well... It's really important to him, though. Apparently. It's a local rivalry after all. Bauru certainly won't help any, uh, have any sharpness in the next few days. And given that... This is horrible. This might be recurring already and I don't know about it. 
But spraining the knee ligaments two times within one year? Well, within nine months, actually. Shit. Okay, so he won't start. I will n try not to change much else. So, probably Da Costa Lima for him. The rest of it should be fairly similar, right? Hell, even McManamy did a decent job, didn't he? Yeah, 6.9. Um, also the goalkeeper. I'm not 100% sure, but... Do I really want to do this? Okay, so overall momentum was definitely on our side. I think we all saw that. The passing. We did play 383 passes, and most of them were played over here on the left side. That's not surprising. And, well, Baru, he was on the pitch for 20 minutes, so this is, this is meaningless. And we basically restricted the opposition to play some passes way back. They did play 329 though. So it seems like our pressing worked. At least it feels that way. That's my explanation for now. Alright. Let's hope we make it through the week without any injuries. Maybe with some additional tactical... Uh, well, I guess the familiarity is not a big problem anymore. So, thanks for the repeated scouting report. We still think they have bad crossing, bad marking, bad positioning. I will still not invite crosses. They might play uh, crosses lower to, uh, on the ground. And they play with a defensive mentality, apparently. So... Let's hope that they keep it that way. And we have six days to recover. That, sh that should be fine. For most of these. Alright. That's a Liga Super actually, so I can scout this. Who's important here? None. Well, PDRM might be... No, not really. PDRM will not uh, make that, well, difference in points anymore. They are at 23 games, so we have one match in hand, basically, in comparison to them. They have 9 points to gain. This is their more or less relegated. That's it for them. So, yeah. Well, honestly, we just need to win that next match, and then we're, we're not out of the woods yet, but we're Okay. So, they didn't. They lost by two goals to Kelantan. Kale Rovers defeated Kuala Lumpur. Not that it matters much. And uh, Bohang defeated Keda. No concerns here. We are more interested in this. Perak and Penang. I honestly forgot about the game in hand. Yeah. So they'll be relegated for sure. Let's have a look at this again. We play Cushing, Selangor, Penang and Kelantan. Basically, if we win against Cushing, one additional win will probably suffice. 
And in particular, if we can push uh, Kinong uh, down into the eradication zone again. So, we have it all within our own hands, I think. Or within our own feet, or heads, or whatever. We can definitely win this. What happened? A pulled back muscle. Oh, it's a back. It gets. It's not pulled back. It's a pulled back muscle. Yeah, that makes more sense. I was confused for a second. Uh, yeah. So, shall we play without him in the next match? Or shall we give him an injection and hope that it works? I mean, this next match is really important. And I, I cannot really estimate the chance that he will be out for the remainder of the season afterwards. Also, looking at the schedule... Seems like he might be back for the match against Pinong. If we send him to the physio, that's four days plus eight. That's that's very close to making it within two weeks. And well, the match against Selangor is not the important one. Well, it it any match is important, but Selangor I do not expect to win. So what do we do here? Usually I don't opt for injections in this situation, but in, like, right now, it might be a good idea. You guys have any opinions? Let me know in chat. I will grab something to drink. Kirby. Good question, Mies. As a mood in, maybe? Because, like, there's youngsters, apparently. So, I, I think Jerry Nullet would be pleased. We could play one of these. But... To be honest, I do, I do not see that being a success. So, I don't know. I hope he doesn't hate me for it. Well, I'll, I'll, I think I'll opt for the injection here. More courses of injection the player received throughout his injury. Yeah, um, don't worry. It's just this one time. Injuries are really a major concern ever since we turned professional. Seems to be a big problem. It might have to do with, with my play, uh, training schedule, though. Maybe I just grind them down too much. I don't know. That doesn't matter to me right now. Here we go. Never forget to drink. I do not believe that contract office should be extended to any of the youth candidates still awaiting the decision. Okay. Sure. So, we still have him waiting for a contract. Now, I think I can live with not signing him.
Mr. Kairul Nasim Abdullah. He's very slow. And as a central defender, I have my doubts too. He looks somewhat well rounded, I think. So that's probably the only one that I would reconsider. But we do not have any money right now. So. I think that's a major mistake I make every single time signing on, uh, well, most of the youth players. Carrier. ABD. Well, that's no fun. This is the Piala Malaysia. I don't care. Great. What's true? The stuff with the youth players? Or what, what, what are you referring to? I think we spent like 300 euros on youth players per week. And they don't contribute anything. I just do that repeatedly, it, it, it doesn't help. So we could, should stick to those that actually have a chance of contributing and abandon the under-19s maybe. Doesn't still the Piala Malaysia, I still don't care. Okay. Same. No problem whatsoever. Playing a player under uh, under the influence of painkillers. <sighs> One derby coming right up. This is the goal for today's stream. We intend to shut up shop? Yeah, okay. We should address our recent bad form and remind of players of what's at stake. You think that's a reasonable idea? We'll do that. Okay. So what do I pick here? I think your form has been shitty. That's true. So I'll challenge them. Everybody loves it. Okay, everybody's thrilled, very happy. Well, thrilled, sorry. Um, morale overall went up. Hopefully we can push that even a little bit further with additional comments on the training and stuff. Uh, we don't need modaris, doesn't matter. So he can go to the physio. And the good part about uh, reaching Friday now is that nobody else can hurt themselves. That's definitely a positive. So everybody expects us to get defeated. I don't care about this. 
<laughs> we will not be in here anytime soon. But apparently, well, Arsenal's new here. Borussia Dortmund is new. Apparently, they have a good youth academy. And Dinamo Zagreb. Zagreb. Freiburg is not in this list. I'm confused. Well. So. We'll try to do more or less exactly the same. We played Rusty on attack duty here. Did we tell him to dribble more or less? Oh yeah, um, he knocks the ball past the opponent, never mind. So uh, we should tell him to dribble more actually, but I don't want to do that given that he gets four points of dribbling, so yeah. Let's leave it as it is. Did I do any other changes? I'm replaying is okay. Alright, let's have a look at the training performances. So Carrier will remain on the bench. But he trained well. Zakaria trains well as always. No problem there. Rosti's on the pitch. And I think it will remain that way given that Mazarin just returned from injury, wherever he is. Uh, Nazarudin. Well, if he continues like this for an additional 10 years, then uh, maybe he will finally gain some composure. This is good. Pakrola gains some heading and some bravery. He might turn out to be a reasonable choice after all. Um, he trains well. He played recently. And I think I will actually play our backup goalkeeper in this match. Because the other one's been shitty throughout the entire season. That's not entirely fair. That's, it may not be 100% true. But I still think it's a good opportunity to let him play. If I, I might regret it. You know. But somebody told me I need to know. So, I'll decide like this, and uh, if it's wrong, it's wrong. Mazarin trains well. That's good. Perfect morale now. Christopher, no problems either. Let's go. Badrul Hisham, not bad either. Declined a little bit in some areas, but I don't care much. RC. Arcee, uh, he hurt himself repeatedly. McManamy doesn't train that well. So an argument can be made that maybe Ankun should play. On the other hand, Ankun's performances on the pitch haven't been that impressive lately. He'll remain on the bench. And I will not comment on it. So... How have Ankun's, Ankun's form is 6.9, but he returned from injury, so I don't expect much. His form is similar. I'll play him again. I'll stick with it. Let's do this. And Elbuk Chakstel hopefully will not need to uh, make it through the entire match. But, well... I wouldn't want to get my hopes up too much. Um, so, Baru is not available. Safri is not needed. At least I don't think so. Um, we could sub off Asamudin and play the youngster. But I think in this situation, Asamudin is the better choice. Like, I, I don't know. He's, he's out of the uh, selection already. No, I was talking about the attacking midfielder. But in this situation, I think I'd rather take Asamudin with us. He's got some routine, so... Hope, the hope is that this is a positive. Okay. There's also the match between Perak and Sabah at the same time. What result do we want? Well, to be honest, the draw would be fine, but I would also be okay with Perak losing it. If they don't, we're in a lot of trouble. So, uh, I don't know. Let's not focus on that. It doesn't matter. We can't help it anyway. We should recruit up that. No. No, we will not. We will do exactly what we did last match. Opposition instructions. So, well, maybe not exactly. 
This guy is really dangerous, I think, in general. That said, we didn't do anything in particular to him last time. We just made sure that his counterpart here had a no fun game. So we'll do that. And now we'll have a look if we can foul somebody else off the pitch. For example, him. He has... No, never mind. He has good dribbling. Same here. So we kept these two away from the goal, I think. These are the older ones, though. Is there anyone else around here that has really bad strength and dribbling and stuff? He's not good. We can probably tackle him hard, too. Same. A central defender that is uh, not good on the physical and bravery side, that's dangerous. And we have no idea about him. He's new. Well, new to me anyway. The goalkeeper doesn't like one-on-ones. Well, he had a good performance last time out. Gotta give him that. So, do any of you have really shitty passing? Nope. Does not seem that way. It's not bad impressive, but it's not shitty, shitty, shitty. And none of these have a really weak foot either. Do they? He has. So we'll show him to the left, even though it, though it will not matter much. And I will ignore the rest. What else did we do? We kept it like this, right? So we still um, try to stop crosses. For some reason. They have really good after ball movement. He's a 12. And well, he's a 6 to 8. So we could try to mark him out of the game at least. But it seems like. Well, in, in, in his case, it didn't make sense, I think. Um, his off the ball movement's bad. And he doesn't like to be um, in physical contact with another player anyway. So I think that makes some sense. In the case of Norden. The other one, I don't know how we coped with it last time, to be honest. This is the best player in our squad. So, I guess I'm hoping for the players to somehow deal with it anyway. That makes sense. Maybe that's just me realizing that I try to um, to cope with uh, the specific uh, things all the time and tend to micromanagement. I guess that's uh, yeah, well. That's probably the understatement of the year. Me having a preference for micromanagement. That will take forever. 90 minutes. And this is the game in hand and we still have three matches to go. Do you seriously want me to stream this for 90 minutes now? Like, it, it might sound interesting at first glance, but I think it will be boring on stream at some point. Don't you think? Let's see. That, make, that makes more sense, yeah. We can live with that. But um, also, um, just keep in mind, I need to include ad breaks from time to time, so 90 minutes is really long. Um, from that perspective, we would need to interrupt the match at some point, and I don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, we'll go with revenge here. The last league match apparently we lost. I think it was by two or three goals, if I'm not mistaken. So, you get out there, and you do what's needed. If it comes to it, also on painkillers, apparently. Alright. So, minor break, and then we'll go to the match. Here be. Welcome, welcome everybody to our away match facing Cushing, our local rivals. If we win this, we're more or less golden. And we'll probably not get relegated. 
If we don't... Then we don't. So, looking at the table, this is our game in hand. We need to win this. Plain and simple. Also, bragging rights for the supporters are on the line here. And apparently I should have had a look at the pitch. Because looking at this, this is very narrow. This is immediately a big concern, isn't it? Also, last time out, I encouraged them right after the start into the match, so let's do that. Nice free take by Elbok, Chuck still sadly doesn't hit the goal. Easy. Elbok just still good pass for Hammer. Back to Elbok, Chuck still, that's clearly no offside for Zamri. Zamri, ah. That doesn't work. Well, we do get a corner though. And we realize that they do not like the jumping that much. In this uh, occasion though... Jeffrey, good passing so far. Cross the... It's a foul. Oh, a yellow card for Silver. A Silver right. That's good. Elbook checks still with a free kick. That's not even a real chance, is it? So, five minutes. We are in control of the match so far. Make man me but roll his sham with a cross from deep. Mm -mm. Cross D. Cross D. That was a great opportunity for Nazarudin. He didn't get his foot to the ball, though. So far, we continue just like we did in a friendly. <laughs> well, that went somewhere else, though. Definitely not towards the goal. Sabah are in front against Perak. This is very positive news. McManamy skips past his man in the penalty area. Oh. He didn't get it inside. Samri... Badrol Hisham, maybe? He's all on his own, and this is a really shitty shot, sadly. I like this. Hopefully they can keep it up. I would be okay with that. Even if it means that Sabah are definitely not getting relegated. This is also a local rival, by the way. So, well, it, it's more of a historic rival, I would argue. At least I think it is uh, noted that way. In the club's description. 66% possession. No chances created on their side so far. Hopefully can, we can keep it up. Funnily enough, I think the pressing actually works in our favor. This is a wonderful pass for Hammer. This is also wonderful and he doesn't hit the goal! Ow! Oh. Great pass by McManamy. Really good play. Who's Raymond? The right back. No, it's a left back. Doesn't matter much, does it? Elbuk checks Dell. Jeffrey! Hits the inside of the post! The performance is golden. No problem whatsoever. Nazarudin, McManamy, Tamri hits the post again, it's offside anyway. We have one more additional encourage available to us. Can we get a reasonable result here? What do we make of this? 45 minutes into the match. We had 7 shots. We, we should have taken the lead at this point. They didn't stand a chance. Yeah, well, near perfection. It's not perfect though. 
I think we'll go with this. We'll get there eventually. That didn't help much. You all with the 6.6, .6, well, 6.7 and below, this is not good enough. You can do better. He's aggressive, I can live with that. Okay, that fired him up a little bit. And we will tell the others that we are confident and they can do it. So at least the green game I won. Not so sure about the rest of it. Not bad. Pedro Henrique. Nice tackle by Zakaria. Zamri, Elbuk Chakstel, and uh, now he's on the pitch. Shit. What is happening? He got some treatment from the physio, apparently he's still... Apparently the painkillers broke, let me put it that way. Nazarudin. Hammer! Yes! I will take this for now, even if it's a far post header. Doesn't matter. I guess I prefer the goal, but I would have also taken a foul by uh, Silver Rye in this situation. <laughs> and the second yellow card, obviously. Can we keep it up? This time out, obviously, I do not want to substitute players just for the sake of it. Nazarudin on the ball now. Rosdi. Tamri. He will not get past this man, will he? With the help of Rosdi, maybe? This is a little bit closer to perfection now. I very much like it. Minute 55, 2 0. Not sure if we deserve this, but whatever. Also, Rosti's... Probably that's the first goal of the season, isn't it? Uh, well, it's not over yet. Do I? Okay. Well, they would need to score free. And Asnamudin is still capable of providing something so i guess hopefully elbow checks Dell will uh, recover within the next two or three weeks um the next match we might actually rest him i'm not sure but overall this seems reasonable and uh yeah he's injured and str struggling to run it off it says he he has the experience so hopefully he can give us a good performance. In particular in build-up play, actually. So, as, as long as we have the ball, I think Azamudin is not the worst choice ever. Nice tackle by Badrul Hisham, and that's just useless. But it does disrupt their play. So I'm okay with it. We could also start wasting time. Not sure if that's too early, but it seems like they do not create much, we do not create much. Good play, minute 68 already. Badrulish, um, McManamy, Rosdi. He missed the opportunity for an early cross, I think. 
and it's only a corner. So we'll wait for the end of that corner. Goalkeeper is on a 7.0 rating, by the way. He didn't face a single shot. Cross D. Oh, uh, no. Not this time. Uh, Zamudin, Badrul Hisham. Jeffrey. Tamri. Good pass. Nazarudin just skips past his man. There's the second one there. Same. Oh, it could have been the second goal for Rossi, actually. 20 minutes to go. Shall we score, uh, score a third? Azamudin. Mm, not that way. It's offside. Alright. Let's see. We still have four subs. Who needs to go off? Well, does anyone? Is the question. He's apprehensive, Fakrola. Why is that? I don't... Like... On one hand, I want to rotate. On the other hand, I feel like I do not want to rotate here. So, you know what? We'll keep it like this. And we'll do some alibi subs at some point. They didn't sub anyone either, did they? They still play with the same squad. Shang have so many players. Silverai on the ball. Is this offside? It is. Well, minute 78, I think we can probably finally sub somebody. So he's apprehensive, he's also. His, his condition says fair, but I think Carrier can come on for Fakrola here. I might hate myself for doing this, but no, uh, yeah. It should work, at least for this amount of time. Rusty is aggressive. I don't care, that's good. Um, that said, I'm more concerned with McManamy, actually. He is highly susceptible to injury, as we know, so we'll bring on Ankun. That also um, reduces creativity a little bit, given that he plays as a DLP and not an RPM. Anyone else? I'm not sure. The other ones are okay. So let's wait for another few minutes. Should be routine for the two. Also... This. I know it's really boring, but we have 11 minutes left. And it's a two-goal lead, so we can kick the ball around all day. Or we just score a third goal, but he didn't hit it. Two minutes. Hammer will be suspended next match. Hammer is... Oh no, Barut. Barut's not available, so I guess Carlos da Costa Lima will need to play this time. And who else? Nazarudin's exhausted. So... Play Christopher, I guess. Good luck, guys. They sub somebody now. Doesn't matter anymore, does it? Can we call this the performance of the season just yet? They didn't have a single shot on goal. Well, not, not a single shot at all. For now. Hopefully we can keep it that way. Seems like we can. Two minutes. 
it's also offside. So praise him again. Perak are also in the process of losing and it seems like it's by two goals. So they'll not change anymore. Most likely. Ankun. Decent pass. Da Costa Lima loses the ball sadly. He doesn't win it back either. Norden. Of course. They needed one header, at least. That should be the game. This is the end of match highlight, isn't it? It is. We win away from home by two goals. So apparently we might just stay in this league after all. So now we have 27 points. Perak lost their match. So we do not have a game in hand in comparison to Pinang. Yep. <laughs> Thank you very much for emphasizing the positivity. That's great. Hey, yet another member for the fan club. Are you quite sure it's not a well, hi. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. You arrived just at the right time. It's all going well. We just won a very important match. So. I'm quite happy about this. I will not comment on any of this. We defeat Cushing again. And Elbuk Chuckstail is injured. Tidal as well, that doesn't matter. Uh, we will send him to the physio this time, right? So what brings you to the stream? Uh Germany. Southern Germany. And uh we do football manager in Malaysia. Apparently. So that's uh, quite far away from me. Alright, Elbeck Chuck still will not be available for next match. That said, I'm really happy with the result. And I want to look at the league table again. So we are not non-relegated just yet. But it's highly unlikely at this point to get relegated, right? We, we basically need a draw against Perak and that's it. No, I definitely don't, and I hope you let, you read the rules. But thank you very much for offering, and uh, good luck finding customers elsewhere. Okay. So... We will have a friendly face of Sarah. Um, same to you. Have a nice day. Um, we will face Saravak next time. Uh, Saravak next time. Uh, in the friendly. That's in two days, I think. Well, it's four. Whatever. Um, then we will face Selangor. Selangor is a really hard one. That's sad. Well, we can make their bid for promotion quite a challenge, can't we? And I think Selangor are the ones that threw us out of the cup. So, we did stand a chance against them, for some reason. Same here, lost by one goal. So, revenge is definitely on the table here. It's an away match though. Uh, the backup striker, you, uh, like on the bench? Yeah, probably. I think we'll take, uh, we'll take Ahmad with us, yes. Um, if there's ever any chance to give him playing time, it's probably in one of these matches, right? So he can come along and uh, he'll get there at some point. Also, if we if we want to have any youth development, uh, 
under any circumstance. Uh, we need to play the players from the under 21s in the senior squad matches from time to time. That's it. Um, I think I will do something very unpopular right now. I will actually wrap it up. Um, because, well, there's, there's multiple things going on here, right? First of all, I need to have dinner. Second of all, Borussia Dortmund play in 45, uh, well, in 40 minutes. So, um, Mies will probably be very conflicted on, in these circumstances anyway. And also, we got to the target that I wanted to have today. So I want to celebrate. Um, yeah, sure. Well, we could, why not? Um, for, for the friendly, of course, yes. But, I'll do all of this next time. So, um, chances are I might do it on the weekend. But, um, if I don't, next stream's on Monday. But most likely I will find some time. Saturday or Sunday. At least that's what I think right now. Um, so, that, this has been a bit of a shorter one. But I'm very excited by the result. So, thanks for watching. And I will see you all next time. Have a nice evening. Bye.